Welcome back to the Audio Lang Show. I got to tell you, uh, based on the commercial break, this might be the best segment we've ever had coming up. Uh, this next guest has been on the show before, but uh, she's gracing us now in person. And uh, she has a brand new product, a, a, a vibrator <laughs> called the We Vibe. Uh, it's the We Vibe 4. I guess it's a sequel. Uh, but this is incredible stuff. It's groundbreaking stuff. Uh, please welcome Dr. Wendy Walsh back to the program. How you doing? How are you? I'm happy to be here in New York. I yeah. love New York. You love New York. How often yeah. do you get here? You're from L.A. Yeah, I get here four or five times a year. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so now explain this. You have right. this out. So no, no, well, no I want to tell you about thing. this. So, yeah. you know, I'm not like a sexologist. I'm a relationship expert. Right. So I'm not into anything in the sex trade. In fact, I'm sort of down on porn because, oh. you know, it's not really good for guys. They're uh. addicted. You know, the whole thing. <laughs> right. We do but, get addicted to it, yeah. But this vibrator, when this Canadian company came to me and said, you got to see this, I got really excited because now... It's a weird. It's not phallic. You know, a lot of guys don't want a vibrator in their bed because it looks like yeah, a penis. Yeah, it looks right? like that's it just can weird. Be intimidating. It looks like a Bluetooth a earpiece. It does look like a Bluetooth. Yeah. Feel, it. Feel uh, how soft that is. First of all. It's medical grade oh, yeah. silicone. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's wait, wait. soft. But let me tell you Sorry. what you Medical do with grade it. grade silicone. Should I ask you guys to guess first of all what you do with it? What? Well, it looks like How you, do you apply use it? it. Did you just uh, turn it on or did I? Oh, Was maybe this? the remote. Is it doing it? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Somebody got turned on. <laughs> okay, let me explain. Whoa! Somebody oh got my. turned on. <laughs> there must be a button on there. Okay, well, as it's operating let me explain see how there's a flat side here there's a flat side see there's a round side here flat and a round side so this gets inserted in your your lovely lady your ha -ha. so this part hits what we call her c spot right but then while you're making love this is your piece oh, it's a we vibe all right okay Get it? so okay we so, vibe together so, so you use I'm, it I'm, during I'm up against something while she's getting something up against her yeah both people use it it wow. improves monogamy it improves relationships. And now I can't figure out how to turn it off. That oh my is God. impressive. What did you hit? I don't Here, know. Here's the remote. I just have, okay, I'm like the fine. John is so like You can read the manual, John. John is so virile <laughs> and so manly, he turned it on. This is going home with you, by the way. Yeah. And by the way, here's the other cool thing. Soft as silicone, filled with electronics. You can fully wash it in soap and water. And this is a remote control. I think you, you might have. want to wash it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's a remote. Say I have my, my girl inserted. Like, can I just she stay down, it. stay down in the basement watching Sports Center and just like <laughs> yep. pleasure her with the remote yep. by myself? You don't like, even have to be in the same room. Like, so upstairs, you just hear her going, ah! <laughs> exactly. And but I'm it's... like, keep it down. The Giants are on. <laughs> no, but it's meant for we to vibe together. together. But yeah. say, suppose that you don't want to, you know, yeah. you're, you're sick of being together. Seriously, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Let me Biggest. see it. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I changed the I setting can, now because I know yeah. it's doing something Believe different. Believe me, okay, I'm good at turning things it's off. It's every time, every time we press this button on top, it goes into a different set of modes. Oh my God, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody can turn off anything sexual really related, it's me. Wait a minute, let me see. Why Don't break it, you're going to need to use it tonight. Good. Yeah. Be gentle. Oh my God, if you put it right here, it makes like a... Good, 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 good. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear the ocean in your ear? Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! That is so sexy. My ear is turned on. I don't know what on. setting that is. It comes with many different speeds, modes, and settings. So now, how how long have you been involved with this product, Doctor? You know, I met the CEO in January <laughs> at, at CES, at Consumer Electronics Show. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This was a big hit at the Consumer Electronics Show I bet show it was. Vegas. That's right. A bunch of nerdy scientists are like, hey. That's right. Um, developed by a Canadian company. Right. You know those Canadians. They're oh, yeah. all They're about so, well, healthy, happy marriages. That makes sense. Those lonely bastards. They need them. <laughs> And uh, so they asked me to come to New York and introduce this thing right. to New Yorkers because, you know, they need it. Sure. Apparently. I mean, this is a great product. I want, I'm dying to use it. Yeah. So, so you now, will tonight. Have you been successful with this? Yeah. Yeah. I've been on a lot of TV shows with it. Right. And then do and people... people are usually like, you, when, it, you know, the, the publicist says, we want to come on with a vibrator. They get all freaked out. Right. So what we've been doing mostly is saying we have a new sex survey, which is real and great data. Uh, sponsored by the We Vibe 4. Yeah. Um, so that we don't actually talk about the product. But with you, I knew you would want to touch, feel, and talk about it. I'm very hands on. That's what the I show. know about you. I'm very I hands on. So only half of it 
is so this inserted. part goes inside. Yeah, got it. So this hits the, the C spot. Outside. But you see how that's got a little bump there action? That's the G spot. Uh, so for uh, her, she gets her G Mike, spot, come her here. C spot, come and over then here the guy gets it. this. Let's see what yeah. Mike pushed out of you. Come you over here. Insert it. that into Mike. Oh my God, there's Mike. Hi, Somehow. Mike. How's your mom? Oh, good. How are you? Oh, good. Be careful, Mike. I am. Out. I'm always careful. Be careful. It's very Mike. soft. All right. It's so, uh, soft. Mike, come around this side. All right. Sorry, guys. Mike's very TV savvy. Right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, what yeah, about? Really nice to meet you. you. How are you? Nice to meet you, darling. Good to see you. There you go. What about Have for? That vibrator. What How about that for feel? Mike? We got to turn it on for you. Okay. There you go, bud. What about oh. for Mike, who's uh, right now in between oh. ladies? Right. So he's in between can ladies. Can he use this? Well, they solo. do. They do also well, make individual like a solo a me vibe. <laughs> Mike's in that. You know, you we could. all go through that. Mike's in that. Loop Mike's it in all that. Around. Mike's in that. Uh, that hiatus we all go through. The 38 year hiatus. Yeah. <laughs> in between. The in between stage. This feels great. I like. I. Oh. Um, yeah, it does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm>, okay. <laughs> oh, no. It looks like what you're you really getting into it. No, no, it, it's just a sensation of it. Is it are you getting turned on? Are you getting turned on, Mike? Yeah, I like the sensation of it. Here, it feels. You can, you can try putting that somewhere well, beside your hand. No, no, uh, uh, this is. Uh, oh, no, no. Did you Not guys now. see the movie uh, Don John yet? No, no, what is that? Seriously, you got to see Whoa. it. What's That's Don uh, John? Joseph Gordon Levitt. He yeah. wrote it, directed it, and starred in oh, it. Really? And it's about a guy, New Jersey. Oh, the Jersey thing with Scarlett Johansson. Right, and yeah. he's addicted to porn, but she's addicted to romantic comedies, and they both have skewed expectations about oh, what relationships right, should okay. be. Right, yeah. right. Right. No, right. 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 right, okay. Right, I know I saw the commercials. This feels amazing. I got to go sit down. Okay. Is Bochetti everything you thought he'd be? And more. And more. And more. Yeah. Now, but he's a good guy. He takes care of his mom. Now that you were. What did you do, John? You just kept hitting this button? Help me, help me. You have to hold me. it down. Help me, please. You have to hold we it down. We can just leave it like that. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> let me see it. But we don't want to run down the battery because we You're want right. Artie to use it. And hey, let me see this. Uh, oh, it's off now. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just have to hold it down. Yeah. You just have to hold it down. It's all yours. Now, what, With the uh, instruction manual, you can read as bedtime reading. Now that you've seen uh, Boschetti in person, what are your, yeah. what's your advice? Uh, how can you help him uh, sort of with uh, relations? Well, uh, excuse me a second. I, I had asked one of the Maxim girls out last night. I manned up. You asked her out? Yeah, I did. I mean, really? Yeah, I did last night. After I'm, I'm, I spoke to her online. Online. And, and, uh, and well, wait, wait, wait. But she was just here prior to that in person. So she actually met you and you met her. Oh, I know, yeah. I know her for a little while, right? Thought maybe months. Yeah, we, yeah, we've known her for a long time, sure. Yes. Yeah, like, like 10 months. So you called her and asked her out? You didn't do it digitally, did well, you? Well, no, these guys like kind of edged it on a little bit last night for me. They were my wing, wing people. We were trying to help. Yeah, we yeah. were. After, yeah, but after I mean, after I, she'd be receptive. Through the show, Mike's known them for 10 months. It's not like, a, you know, a startling thing. How nowhere. old is this young woman? Uh... Wendy, I really don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure. How old are you? 25. She's yeah. probably uh, 25. I'm, I'm uh, unfortunately, I hate to say it now. I feel, I feel horrible. Uh, I'm 52 years old. All right. So this clearly could be your daughter. <laughs> All right. So it's it's not a fair power dynamic because of your age and wisdom. It would be very easy for you to manipulate her. Do you understand that? But not Great. only not only daughter. Uh, she's 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 twenty five. She's she, it no could, maybe she's twenty five. She could be something she could that be twenty. She could be something that he found in his tooth. Like you know, <laughs> uh, she's she's tiny. She's tiny. Which oh, she's which girl tiny. was this that you asked? Which one? Oh, uh, Crystal. You, you oh, asked Crystal. her out on Facebook? No, I, I said to her, you know, I, you guys got me, you know. All wing, you know, all ready to go and stuff. So I said, uh, <laughs> "What do you mean all ready to go? What does that mean?" Well, no, where, where did, did you, you have the we vibe early? Did where you did you an early <laughs> Where did you ask her? I where? just said to her on Facebook. I said, "You know, uh, maybe we can go to dinner or, or lunch." And she said, "I'd love this. So we're gonna set something up." Really? And the, yeah. and the, the biker guy pretending to be her said, "What?" <laughs> no, no, that's all. That's all I know. So now, what, before, I think Crystal was actually twenty nine or thirty. Oh, really? I do think so, yes. Yeah. Is, Is that any better? Is that any better? That's a little bad. better. But, you know, you have so much life wisdom, and you could easily have an unfair power dynamic That's over a right, young Mike. thing what, like what, that. What, what, I mean, yeah. she might want to just get in the entertainment industry. She might want to just be using you to hang out at these gorgeous sets and That's right. meet all That's the a celebrities good point. you know. Remember that. She could just be using you. She but might just want to the, so she would say, like, you know, Mike Wouldn't that be a best-case scenario for Mike, though? <laughs> yeah. No, if, I think well, for some shallow. 
Shallow, for shallow guys. You should is. find a nice 48 year old single mother who has okay. a garden, who knows how to cook. Right. Um, who, uh, you know, could be up here for you. Maybe lives in your neighborhood. I love single moms. They're the best. Good. I'm one. Why is that? No, the, you know, my mom was a single mom, and, you know, I know I know what it's like. I mean, I, there I respect There you go. Those. She needs a guy to mow the lawn, to fix a few things around the house, you know. And uh, do you know anybody like that, Mike? That she could... I can cut the lawn, but fix things, I'll have to bring somebody. You can cut the me. lawn? You can't cut I can somebody. mow the lawn, yeah. When's the last time you mowed a lawn, Mike? It's been a little bit, but I know what I'm doing. She's Absolutely. 24, Artie. She's 24. She's 24. Okay, yeah, well, well that's got I it. think we, that's we, out of your league, babe. She's, uh, the doctor is saying no. Yeah. But do you want to still pursue her anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your what's your end goal with that, Mike? I mean, what is your best case scenario? You go out, you grab some food with Crystal, and right. then what? I don't then know. what happens? Just have some fun. She's she's, she's a nice girl. Well, what's you know. fun? What's fun? Uh, depends what happens after dinner. Now, um. So, so are you, you're are not you... interested in getting to know her mind and having deep no, intellectual nice, conversations? No, but she's really smart, though. She is. She's a nice girl. How do you know that, Mike? I talked to her before. You know, over here and on Facebook. What was, so what was the conversation like? I didn't know she's smart. She just is. I just listened to her a lot. What did she say? No, as you can tell, just listening to her. I mean, she talked about herself. I'm, talked about herself? Family, pretty much. <laughs> she, sounds like, she sounds like Alberta Einstein. No, no, she, she's, no, she, she does. She's super, she's Wait, not. Wait, 24, did she go to college? I think she oh. may have, she, she's probably out. I'm, I, she might have went. I'm not sure. I really haven't found Well, what did she say about herself? You don't know that simple fact? No, she's just talking about her, her family and her brother and stuff. Oh, that's good. She cares about family. Oh, there she is on the right. Do you want it? Family? Oh, the one on the right. She's beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's looking at you there. The mm -hmm. one the one who's slightly less disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mike, what is that vibe you have? You're rubbing your uh, forearm. Is this, is this, now, how did you make your move? I just said to it, you know, you guys like kind of like, Egged me on a little bit last night. I mean, you know. Uh, and what did you say on Facebook? I just said, you know, I think you're a really nice girl. You're fun. I love when you come on the show. Maybe we can go to dinner or lunch. Or so, I, listen, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. And we, we can ask Dr. Wendy what Crystal would have done what, in that situation. If she's being asked by Mike, who she just spent time with, right. mm -hmm. hey, do you want to go grab some food or something like that? Right. I, is it even feasible that she would say no if on Facebook, when there's no ramifications, there's no, I, you'd think she could just say, sorry, Mike, I'm not into it. Yeah, yeah but then she risks never being invited back on this show oh, again. Oh, so you're, so you're saying, see now, see what the doctor's doing here. She's using all the negative angles she possibly could be. <laughs> no, but we have to be careful. <laughs> no, right, no, you know? I don't want no. Mike to be hurt. That's right. what this uh, is about. Dr. Right. Wendy's right, because I'm very savvy, Art. I'm a native New Yorker, you know, I know the deal. No, but Mike, we've he pointed out countless, savvy. there's we've countless, but in the last year, Mike, again. in all fairness to you and your native New Yorkness, in the last year, there's been about 14 women who have played you. Aww. Well, they thought they did, but they didn't. I won out, actually, in the long run. They didn't did get you it, spend you know? any money on them? No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. It didn't no. go that far. Well, they she brought them <laughs> up here. You took them out to dinner. Yeah. Yeah, you took right? them out to dinner, actually. No, I mean, well, not, that's not, money. No, I mean, not, not dinner, really, Dan. I mean, you know, I just like Pizza? whatever. Pizza? Yeah, something simple. You know, I, I wasn't going to go all Pizza? Whatever, That's you know, not true. Gonna... You took that one. There was one girl you took out for like a, little, a couple of times, right? Oh, my friend Alexis, yeah. Then he brought each one of them up to the studio and tried to get them on television. Right. Oh, you know. they were all, they were all <laughs> on TV. Well, well one, one tried to got herself on TV. I mean, and I, you know, a couple did. Like, a couple got themselves on TV. I yeah. interviewed a couple of them. Yeah, well. It was very awkward. It was awkward. <laughs> I, I felt awkward. You know, I'm yeah. sitting there with the host of the show. Who are you? And you're like, I, I'm a comedian who knows Mike. No, but I'm just better <laughs> off with a regular woman. Civilians are the best. That's what you well, need. Well, what did Civilians. the doctor just say? He's regular like 48 years just... old. Yep. Into pottery. Exactly. You know what I mean? Couple teenagers. Right. So you can whip into shape. Right. A uh, 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 single mom that, you know, you could be the dad, you could be the father figure that they look up to. Well, most of yeah, them actually already have a father somewhere, so it's not really oh, that. Yeah, yeah. It's really just help with the overload of life I driving know. and mowing. Right. And I don't, well, I, don't mind, I don't mind cutting driving. lunch and yeah. painting. Someone to pay the bills while she continues to make love to someone else. No. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the game plan? No. Oh, okay. So in this scenario, Mike makes love to her? Yes. Oh. He could I... be a bona fide boyfriend. Bona fide. Then when's the last time that happened? To be bona fide, Mike, <laughs> I think you you have to go and and learn to drive. 
I think we can help you with you that. You don't drive? Though. I haven't drove in a long time. With oh, yeah, because yeah, once you're raising teenagers, they just need wheels and a yeah. wallet. That's and it. I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. will make him more viable as a yeah. possibility. I, I didn't drive because I, I was learning how to drive, and then I, I drank a lot of my youth and just drank. You're going to have to be. You see, here's the thing. You're gonna have, gonna, I, I didn't want to hurt anybody now. else and myself. Well, Mike, what yeah. the doctor's saying is you're going to have to drive while uh, your wife is making love to someone in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. No, no, he, he loves to. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I think that. That will be the dynamic. The, is that uh, she will, of course, continue several sexual relationships, uh, and it shouldn't be behind your back. You should embrace them because uh, <laughs> you'll, uh, this is the way for you to be in a relationship. Sure. And then when you come on to her, she'll be, uh, of course, repulsed. So, <laughs> oh, Doctor Wendy, is an open relationship the, the best case scenario for Mike? No, it As never already works. One hundred percent of the time, it never works. No, because Mike's going to be in love with her, and I don't no, I'm not. See not him this hurt. is not an open relationship. He's not allowed to see anybody else. Uh oh. No. <laughs> no, no, open relationship. And, uh, oh, God. It's a half, the door's halfway open. Right. Now, the woman, she, she'll be, in other words, she could do whatever she wants. You got to trust women, too, though. I mean, you know. Right. She, I mean, she'll be saying, she'll be open and honest with you. I'm having sex with people. Why would a guy put up with that? Because he wants to be involved in a relationship. Yeah, but now, there are I other ways. I he wouldn't could put just... up with that. I'd run out the door and go, you know what? Have who you want to have. I'm out of here. All right. There exactly. You go, Mike. But, He's a man. But then yeah. you'll be alone. Who cares? I don't want to be bothered He's with that He's not alone. Mess. He has his mom. Okay. Well, all right. We'll do it. Okay, that's fine. That works. The mother, what do you think about his mother in this situation? She's, she's going to be 75. She's a wonderful tonight. woman. I'm sure she is. When is she 75? Uh, at midnight. Tonight? No tonight? Way. Yeah, 75 years old. God bless oh, her. Oh, that's Oh, fabulous. my God. Oh, happy, birth that happy birthday. She's happy so birth lucky to have a son like you. She Thank is. You. To come home every night for 52 years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> Do you think at 75 years old, Mike, your mom thought you would be out of the house? She thought I would. She thought grandchildren would have been coming over by now. But Do I you mean, think that uh, she thought your other four brothers and sisters would be out of the house as well? <laughs> no, they are. Are they all there? No, 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 they're no, not. no, no, no. no. Two. Two. Right. My my uh, sister's married with a husband for like 10 years. She lives. But, but well, where do they live? They live about five or six miles from us. But the oh, rest of good. your siblings live with you. My brother lives with his girlfriend downstairs. He's in the house. Yeah, going, yeah, going out with Huff since like the beginning of time. So your brother added another person. Yeah. Yes. To the home. But you know, in and countries around the world, these multi generational households are the norm with human beings. We just are have they? this weird capitalist America that says we all have to be independent. Really? Yeah. That's normal for human beings to be yes. in multi generational yes, homes? Yes, absolutely. I don't think Since so. the history of time in our hunter gatherer times, we roamed, I don't think we roamed so. in packs of about 35 people who well, we all had a biological connection to. Well, no one else here has that situation, though. I know, because you bought the shit of the modern capitalism, where you have to be <laughs> independent and on your own and not really attached to anybody. Attachment is actually healthy, believe it, it or healthy. not. It is healthy. Yeah, so, but, but can, you, can't you be attached from a few miles away? Well, yeah, that, I like the five-mile thing. Yeah. But, uh, but, Don't you, know, you think most people go crazy if they live with their children and the children live with them? They go nuts. Well, you know what? We go nuts when our expectations are different from the reality. So if they expect that everyone should be independent, then they're going to go crazy. But obviously, you don't expect that you should be independent, right, Mike? No, I love my family. See? I'm very close to them. Yeah, right. Well, of course. It's all because, about you, expectation matching reality. You're very close to them because you're living with them. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of it, you know. Five feet from them. Do you think that... Man, maybe we can talk about this after the break. Yeah, we got to take a break, I guess. Do you think that Mike needs to make a choice between family and... I think he can have it all. Partner. He needs to set some boundaries, but you don't have to necessarily live in another place to have emotional boundaries. Well, you know who knows a lot about this are the people at DraftKings. <laughs> DraftKings.com could be crowning you a fantasy football millionaire, Mike. And if you win this, you can get out of the house. That's what I want to ask if, if he won this millionaire grand final of $1 million in this new fun way to play fantasy football, DraftKings, it's one-day fantasy sports. True story, a guy won hundred grand the day one. Hundred grand the first day he did this, very first day. Uh, DraftKings this football season is having a millionaire grand final. Right now, my listeners get free entry into the millionaire grand final. Enter Artie, A R T I E, at DraftKings.com for your free shot to be crowned a fantasy football millionaire. But you gotta enter Artie, A R T I E, today at DraftKings.com. For details and your free entry, visit DraftKings.com. DraftKings.com. And that's what I wanna ask you when we come back. What if he won all this money and could get out of the house. Should he do it? What do you think? We want to uh, mull that. What if he won at DraftKings.com? Mm -hmm.
The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.